You are listening to Impact Online, brought to you by 8482 Media. My name is Eli, the founder of 8482, and I've been creating content and digital education for businesses since 2016. We've generated millions of views, subscribers, and dollars for clients. This show will explain best practices, strategies, and lessons learned from content creators to help you achieve an impact online. If you enjoy this show and want to help it succeed, you can leave a five-star rating. It will help grow the show so that we can dedicate more time and resources to bringing on the right people and collecting the most valuable information to help you stand out in an online world. In this episode, we are talking about the seven steps to launching a successful TikTok account for your business. Today's date is July 21st, 2022, and TikTok is still the platform that we recommend for growing your audience as fast as possible. Of course, you can post on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and any platform, but the chances of your content reaching the masses is going to be extremely low. As of now, the algorithm of TikTok gives your content the best chance of being seen. I recommend playing in favor of social media algorithms to gain traction and then redirect that attention to other platforms that greater benefit your business or project. Let me give you a quick example. We recently took over podcast production for a podcast that had very little traction. We're talking about less than 100 subscribers and a loyal audience base of less than 50 people. In the past month, we've generated an audience of over 5,000 subscribers on TikTok by posting short, entertaining content every two hours off and on for the past 30 days. We redirected that audience for the client back to YouTube, but were able to monetize their podcast YouTube channel, which means we generated 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time so that they could be earning income on every single video that they post. And better yet, Users began commenting on YouTube that they watched clips from TikTok and that's how they found out about the podcast. So realize that regardless of whether you're trying to grow your website viewership, Instagram followers, or YouTube subscribers, instead of paying for advertising or buying fake attention, leverage the algorithm of TikTok to grow your audience and then redirect that audience to what you're working on. In this podcast, I'm going to be talking about and sharing seven best practices for growing your audience on TikTok so that you can get ready to go viral. For more information and free, quick, simple tutorials, check out 8482media.com or visit us on YouTube, 8482media. You guys will be able to watch all kinds of free tutorials, simple screen recorded tutorials that will help you generate an impact online. We cover video editing, we cover crypto, we cover Photoshop, we cover graphic design, and we're building out a library to help all kinds of different people with short, small tasks that are needed to generate income for small businesses. Let's get into the seven strategies that we've implemented to get millions of views on TikTok for clients. Number one, develop a strategy for your business. Regardless of what kind of content you are consuming online when it comes to how to create a following for TikTok, it's not going to be specific to you. It's going to be specific to whoever had success using it and implementing it on TikTok. So step number one is to take all the information in this podcast episode and any other information that you're getting and find a way to make it relevant to your business. If you have a brick and mortar store that through COVID, you've actually lost a lot of your customer base, you need to find a way to use all this information to get people back into your business that might be visiting on vacation or that might be tourists that come to your city or town. If you're trying to sell online digital products online or trying to just simply gain a following so that you can push that to a product or service that you're selling through your business, your strategy is going to be completely different. So what this is going to take is it's going to take creativity. Your first step should be to understand all the different strategies, understand how the algorithm works, and understand how you can use all the trending filters, songs, and styles of content being posted on TikTok to your business's benefit. This just takes a ton of creativity. Again, for example, if you are a dentist, there is a new trending white teeth filter that shows you how white your teeth could look. And many people are getting millions of views just using this filter. So what I would do is go ahead and create a batch of 10 videos using this filter and add some simple text and trending music that says, you know, what your teeth will look like after visiting, you know, Dr. Fill in the Blank office in this city, right? Come book your session. This is a creative way on how you can use trending filters to bring people into your business. 
And you can simply just repeat this strategy and pattern with everything that's trending. For example, there is a Ferrari filter that's trending as well, which just shows you what it would look like in a Ferrari. And you can move your camera around and you can see, you know, the passenger seat or you can be in the driver's seat. And regardless of where you move your camera, you'll be able to see what it looks like from the perspective of being in the driver's seat of a Ferrari. If you're selling online business consulting or you're selling a product or service that could make people money, go ahead and use that filter. Find 10 different creative ways to use that filter and add text, you know, saying six months after joining our program, this is what your life will look like. So just creating a general strategy on how to use trending topics, trending filters for your business is going to be strategy number one. So as we go through these other six strategies, go ahead and just think about the business. Think about the page that you're trying to build and how you can use all of this information and all the information that you're going to find from other sources for your benefit. All right, number two, using auto captions and popular music. So within TikTok, before you post, you can click the very top. Of course, the UI might change, but you can click the very top where it says add sound and you'll be able to see viral trending music on TikTok. Now, it's going to be important that you use you know, this music in your TikTok videos. You don't need to use just the top 10, but definitely post your video with music and pay attention to which TikTok videos do best. If they do best with a certain song, try using that song over and over again in future videos and see how your videos perform. We also recommend always using the auto captions. You don't even need to make sure that they're perfectly fine. It's a simple way to add text to your video. And if there is a misspelling, well, that might make people watch the video again or comment that there's a misspelling, which is actually going to help your video as opposed to hurt your video. So you don't need to make sure that the auto captions are perfect. We just recommend, you know, clicking that on the right hand side to generate auto captions if there is any spoken word in your video. The other thing you can do is add auto to text. So we also recommend this. If there isn't any spoken word in your video, you can go ahead and type out text before you post on TikTok and then click that, select edit and select audio to text. And that's going to be a simple way to be able to add a voice, you know, or a song or someone singing that text. It's just a simple auto generated audio for whatever text you type out. So those are three things that we recommend doing. Of course, if you do add music to your TikTok video, you can, on the right hand side, adjust the volume of your original audio and that added music audio so that the music doesn't drown out, you know, your talking or dialogue, let's say if you are posting a clip of you talking. So to summarize, again, you want to be posting with auto captions, you want to be posting with popular background music and songs, and you want to experiment with adding text and adding voice to text on videos that don't already have a dialogue. All right, the third point that I want to cover is really to focus on the first one to three seconds of your video. Now, a couple common strategies that people use are they put big text uh, on their video and the text actually can be so long that it is going to take longer for people to read all of that text than it will take to watch the entire video. So the video actually replays. Now, TikTok will push out your video to about, you know, 300 to 500 people as of now. And depending on how long those people watch your video and TikTok measures this in a percentage of video watched, whether they watch 50% of the video, 30% of the video, or 100% of the video, or 200% of the video, meaning they watch that video twice, then they're going to show that to more and more people. So in order to get your video to go viral, you need to have people watching your video, you know, 200% of the time, right? And they'll continue pushing that out until those numbers start coming down, right? And that's when that video views will trickle off is when people no longer are watching 200% of the video or 100% of the video, but they start watching 50, 30, 10%, okay? So in order to get those millions of views, you need to implement this strategy. You need people to watch the majority of your video. So you can post extremely short videos if you would like those 
have a higher chance of getting pushed out to more people, not because TikTok loves short videos, but because it's measuring the percentage viewed of the video and taking that into account along with engagement like likes, dislikes, and comments to see whether or not they should be pushing that out to more people. So adding text is a great idea. Focusing on storytelling is a great idea and really locking in that first one to three seconds of the video and making it engaging as opposed to having it be boring and having the best part of your video towards the end. Another thing that works really well that we've seen implemented by you know, very genius creators is to actually cut off the video on TikTok at a very weird time. So let's say somebody's you know telling a story and you think that that story is about to keep going, but it actually stops and now the video restarts back to the beginning and people watch it again and they're a little bit confused as to why it stopped where it did. That's a really smart strategy because what it does is it ensures that people watch a little bit more than 100% of it because they're confused. They're like, is this video actually over yet or is it not over yet? And that's going to push the video out to more and more people. So keep those things in mind along with the first two points. And let's move on to the fourth strategy. Number four, post every two hours. Now, I know that might be tough for some people, but it really doesn't need to be anything crazy special. The main thing is that you keep a cadence that is extremely high. Um, now, you don't need to post every two hours for the entire 24 hour period of the day. But if you are going to do three posts during the day, post every two hours, like starting at 9 a.m., then post at 11, then post at one. And those are the three posts for the day. If you're just gonna post two posts, well aim for those two posts to be at 9 and 11 a.m. or 10 p.m. and 12 a.m. Is there a specific maximum amount of posts that you should post or not post? Uh, not really. Um, if you do blast TikTok every couple minutes with new posts, it can flag your account for spam. That's why we do recommend posting every two hours as much as you possibly can throughout the day. If you only can post one time on TikTok, the general guidelines are going to tell you different things regardless of where you look. There's many articles that our business has reviewed for posting at 9 a.m. That's the time that they say is best or 7 a.m. Or there's other articles that argue you should be posting at 10 p.m. That being said, you would be surprised how many people watch TikToks in the middle of the night. The majority of views that accounts that we manage have gotten are from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m., which is weird, but that's factual data that I have personally looked at. The posts that I've seen do best, I post at 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. for clients. But that being said, if you are only posting one time per day, don't just look at an article online and post at 9 a.m. every single day because that's what it's said to do. Throughout the week, post at 9 a.m., post at 11 a.m., post at 12 p.m., post at 1 p.m., test. Make sure that you post at different times each day and look and see which post performs best. So just experiment and see what works best for your business. But we do recommend posting every two hours if you are posting multiple times per day. Strategy number five is start engaging with all the comments and incoming people into your account. If people view your profile, go to their profile view their profile, like a few posts, even follow them if you'd like to, or comment on one of their posts. But it's just important to keep every single interaction as an engagement. If somebody engages with your content, even if they don't like it, or even if they don't comment on it, engage with their profile and actually create that first step of liking and commenting on their post. We don't recommend being creepy or, you know, continually going back to, you know, accounts and viewing their profile. That can definitely look a little strange, but just as a general practice, we recommend doing this. If you are rude on TikTok, TikTok can flag your account and shadow ban you or ban you off of TikTok. So if people are inspired to leave hateful comments on your content, just, you know, give them love back. Say, oh, good point. You know, that's a great, you know, great great point. Or just simply like their comment and leave it alone. Tip number six is to watch 15 to 20 minutes of TikToks from the For You page every single day. This is just to 
remain inspired and see what TikTok is pushing out to you. It might be dances. It might be funny stories. It might be podcasts. It might be uh, pranks. Keep an eye on what creators are doing well. Anything that you're seeing on the For You page is an example of what creators are doing well. So regardless of how stupid it is or regardless of whether you like it or not, just pay attention for 10 minutes each day, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Just scroll through. Don't get stuck. You know, TikTok is trying to do a very good job of making you stuck, but the focus should be on your business and creating the content as opposed to viewing it. But definitely, if you are going to be viewing content, check out the For You page um, and find relevant trends that you can add and get inspired to start creating for your business. The final tip that we want to leave you with before this quick podcast is over is hashtags. Best practice on TikTok is to keep hashtags very simple and only use three to five per post. Okay, we recommend keeping the caption short, using a couple emojis, and only using three to five simple hashtags per post. Now, the next question would be, well, should I just use whatever hashtags are most relevant to my content? And the answer is no. We recommend jumping over to tiktokhashtags.com. After visiting tiktokhashtags.com, you can go ahead and click on the search box and search for a hashtag that you're thinking of using on your post. Let's say we're going to be posting a workout video, so we want to use the hashtag workout. So I'm here on the website, I'm gonna search workout as a hashtag, and it will show me options for even better hashtags that have more views on TikTok. So the hashtag fitness, for example, should be one that I should use over workout. The hashtag gym would be number two, hashtag motivation, number three, and hashtag fit, number four. It will show you the amount of posts that have used that hashtag and the amount of views that that hashtag has received. So of course you wanna be using hashtags that are getting the most views and hashtag workout is actually not one of those options, all right? So I would be wanting to take my hashtag idea, go ahead and throw it into tiktokhashtags.com and I'll be able to view the amount of posts and views of relevant hashtags that are a better option for me to use. Again, we wanted to keep things short and simple just like we do in our hundreds of YouTube tutorials. So if you're looking to build an impact online and wanna get better at video editing, content creation, online design, website, and all kinds of other softwares and ideas that are gonna be relevant for your business, head over to 8482media.com. There's a search icon. You can search for your problem and watch simple short tutorials and blog articles completely for free. We'd also love your support over on YouTube. If you have ideas for specific podcast episodes or YouTube videos, just go ahead and drop a comment on any videos and we'll get them answered. Thanks for listening. As always, thank you for your time and attention. This show would not be possible without the support, ideas, and growing community of data-driven creators that make creating content a fun and competitive way to earn a living. Best of luck to you and your business. I hope you achieve all the fame and success that you wish for while you're here. Dozo.